Hello guys, this is Absin HML. I have had a couple of people ask me which of the navigational tools is best used on a responsive project. Looking at that, I can't give you a particular navigation tool to use in your responsive project, but I can show you one which I mostly like to use in my project, and that has to do with the responsive navigation. So let's just look for that too. As you can see, we have the responsive menu in here. The reason why I like to use this on or in my responsive project is that it's very easy to um, go about navigating or go about um, let's, let's say identifying um, other pages on mobile devices. It's very easy to go about um, navigating through your website, having this particular kind of navigation. And um, there's a particular way I like to configure my whenever I'm using it in my project. So let's just take a look at how to go about that. First of all, I take away the icons that I have in here since um, I mostly don't like to have any icons in there. So what I do is I let me just come here. First of all, let me clear everything I have in here and then create my own navigation uh, menus here. So I'll go ahead and I hit on add. Let me just add home. I'll go ahead and then add about. Let me just add services. Continue to add um, let's say contact, let me just end here and then go ahead and click on OK. Now, when I come to style, there's one, um, what I say, a uh, disadvantage about this particular menu is that you can't have a transparent background. So normally you might find yourself using a background similar to that of your header or something which is going to be a bit much better in your project. So it depends on the header I have, uh, I would have on my page that would determine the color I would have to set for the background for this particular um, responsive responsive menu. So let me just go ahead and select black and then on Hoover, I'm just going to keep this to as a test here. Let me just go ahead and then click on OK. Now you realize because I recreated my navigation, uh, I deleted everything since they had icons to it. I recreated it to realize this has gone a bit to the top. How do we go ahead with this particular um, pattern or margin that we have around our navigation? So when you come to styles, realize uh, first of all you have um size the size of the test and then you have icon size now the icon size or the size of the test has a role to play with, with the margin that you have in here but before we go into that let's take a look at the pattern under the main main menu so when you take a look at the pattern there's the pattern to the left then the pattern to the right which is 30 30 now the pattern to the top and then the pattern to the bottom is 15 15 but take a look at something when i go ahead to reduce this realize it's not reducing and this shows that the um the space i have to the bottom is actually more than that i have to the top that was because of the icons i have at the top let's take a look at how we can let's say go about um making that a bit okay so one way we can go about doing that has to do with the icon size that we have in here so let's just go ahead and then increase this a bit and then let's take a look at what happens. You realize this actually increases the, the size of our navigation here because of the icon. Like I said, the icon sticks on top of our menu items here. So let's go back here. And what we are going to do instead is we are going to reduce this. Um, let's just make this zero. And when we go ahead to make this zero, you realize this is giving us equal spacing at the top and then at the bottom of our navigation. Since we are not using icons, that's fine. We don't have to really bother much about that. So we have our navigation created for the desktop. Let's go ahead and then create breakpoint and then have our navigation for our mobile device as well. So I'm going to create 320 and then let me just go ahead and then create 480 as well. And then click on OK, click on OK. Now when I switch to my 480 pixels, you realize the navigation has changed automatically. Like I was saying earlier on, the reason why I might probably want to use this navigation has to do with its, its easiness of using it. And also, I wouldn't have to have a different navigation for mobile device and then different navigation for my desktop device. Any menu items that I created, I create here, automatically will be applied or have effects here. And the same thing applies to the 320 pixels as well. And I wouldn't have to recreate that with a different um, navigational item and also if i wouldn't want to have my icons or my bars stick to the left here i can actually have it to the right hand side so all i have to do is come to my styles and then when you come to menu title alignment you have a couple of options here you could have your 
icon to the left or to the right so this was by default on says what center bottom left and then we can also have center bottom right and then that is going to switch to the right hand side and then we can also come back here and then change this to let's just say left and then that is going to leave this to the that's the text to the left hand side and then you have the icon to the right hand side so this is a way or this is one of the navigational tools you can use in your responsive project and this is a sample way you could go about configuring it thank you very much for watching bye for now